One thing that's very important to have in your bag is a cat, especially if it's as, as cute as Kiwi. You know, people just love cats, and it's a great marketing tool. And if you ever post a video of what's in your bag and there's a cat inside, ow, it will get a lot more hits on YouTube. This is the Jilly Big Black Bag, and it's great because it's big enough to fit all my gear, but still small to fit on the overhead compartment of an aircraft. It has lots of pockets, both inside and outside. It is waterproof, and it is a rolling bag. So for small people like me, it's great, but it can still be carried just by its handles. Now, let's talk about my cameras. I am an Icon girl, and I shoot the D700. It's light, I know it all, I can shoot with it with my eyes closed. My backup camera is the B300S. It shoots video, but I only use it as my backup. I also have the Fujifilm Instax Mini, and this is just a little fun thing to give to my clients. It gives wallet-sized pictures just so they can have something to carry on their honeymoon, and I just love the look of it. Now let's move on to my lenses. First, uh, I would like to talk about the Nikon 50mm, the 1.4. It is my favorite. Uh, the first one that I got, and it does great soft pictures. It's great for portraits and details. I also have the same 50mm, but the 1.8. I got it because I forgot mine at home, on an occasion and have to buy just really quick and so I got the much cheaper 1.8 which is so great and it is for sale right now. The third one is the 85mm. I find it a lot sharper than the 50mm but you can still get that creamy background and then the oh this is the 1.4 as well. The third one is the 24 to 70. It does great group shots landscape, full body pictures, and it's much wider than the 50 millimeter and still very sharp. The last one is the 70 to 200. This is for the moments that you can't be really close to your subject, but you still want to capture all the emotion and the details, such as wedding ceremonies. Uh, I still like to use it on photo sessions just for the different look of it. For flashlights, I use a Nikon Speedlight SB600. I have two of them. They're much cheaper than the SB900 and still do the job. For light modifiers, I use the Promaster System Pro reflector uh, to bounce off flashlights and to bounce off sunlight. It has both the golden and silver side to it. And I also use the Lasolite Professional Softbox. Um, it's great for portraits and uh, you can do lots of creative things with it. I, I, you can always come up with something new. Then there's the iPad 2. I just use it at receptions. I'll go ahead and put my clients' pictures from the ceremony, all their engagements, bridals, and then I'll let people pass them around during the reception. I noticed that people like to hold the pictures uh, rather than just look at them uh, on the projector. They like it better. And it's a great tool to showcase your work while they're still excited about it. I also carry always with me the latest issue of Vogue just to stay inspired and to stay busy when my clients are late, which happens often. The last thing I want to talk about is the fact that I have a separate little pouch for my memory cards that I carry on me during the reception and afterwards just because I don't want to risk losing or having my client's images stolen. So my gear, I don't really care as long as these are safe. It's very important for you to keep your memory cards on a place where you can have access to them and know where they are at all times. All right, I hope you liked what's in my bag and you liked the video. Please let me know um, so I can have ideas for future videos and just to be able to answer your requests in the future. Thank you.